this lesson, I'm going to show you the lead part to the song Fountains. And in the last lesson, I showed you the rhythm guitar, the main guitar part for the song. And uh, I showed you three different picking patterns, a very simple pattern you could use, uh, a full pattern that was based off of another lesson that we've done before with finger picking. And I, then I ended on kind of one that's in the middle, um, which, which spiced it up just a little bit, a third pattern that we're actually going to use for the lead guitar part. Now, as far as the chords for the lead guitar part, you might wonder how in the world do they come up with these cool sounding, um, these cool sounding little chords that complement the main chord. Well, you guessed it, you know where I'm headed with it. These are just complement chords. It's not magic, it's a very uh, easy thing to do. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with complement chords, head over to the Guitar Man Electric Guitar Series. I cover complement chords in full detail. There's actually five sets of complement chords. And what's happening in this song is uh, we'll be using a third position in the key of E. So you'll actually be in the fourth hand position and all of your chords will come from this. So your one chord, well actually you're gonna start with your sixth minor chord. The progression is C sharp minor, A, E, which is six minor, four, one. So if we line up six minor, it's just a real easy one, two, three shape. So your pointer is on the fourth fret, first string, middle right above it, fifth fret on the second string, and then ring finger, uh, one string up. That's the third string, and you're on the sixth fret. So there's your chord. So that's your six minor. Let's jump to the other two real quick and then we'll do the picking pattern. Your four, uh, what I do is just bar the bottom two on the fifth fret and then right above it middle on the sixth. There's your four chord. And then your one chord, you'll bar all three. Well, actually you don't have to bar, but you, I'm kind of in the habit of barring all three on the fourth fret, first three strings. And then middle will get the second string, fifth fret, Pinky will get the seventh fret of the first string. And that's your one chord. So you have six, four, one. There's your chord shapes. So once you get that down, all you have to worry about is your right hand in the, uh, the finger picking pattern. So let's start on the six minor chord. So what you'll do, you'll have your middle finger on the bottom which will be in charge of the first string, your pointer, which will be in charge of the second string, and then your, your thumb, rather, will be in charge of the third string, which in this case, even though you're only using three strings, it's kind of the bass note of each chord. So you're gonna start with your thumb and your middle finger playing together. Now, your, point your pointer and middle are gonna alternate. So together and then alternating. Right after you alternate with your middle, your thumb is going to jump and play uh, the bass note and then start it right over. So you kind of end with the bass note, you start with the bass note. So from here, you just start right over and jump right back into it. Once you get that pattern down pat, you're just um, you're doing it for each chord. So with the six minor, the four, and the one, it sounds like this. So again. Now notice that you stay on the one uh, for an extra measure. So it's four, it's six minor and then four and then one uh, for an extra measure, measure. So you just stay there and kind of hold it. That's all that's happening uh, with, the, with the intro parts, with the verse parts. And what happens is you get these nice high sounding chords right along with the main guitar part. So 
make it kind of your lows and your mids with that, and then you get your highs. So that's the finger picking part for the song Fountains. In the next lesson, we'll cover uh, the main intro, kind of the signature lead lick that will happen when everything uh, comes in full swing in the song. Um, the same guitarist will, will do both, pick up a pick and go into it, and you'll learn that in the next lesson.